Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Liu Bei campaign. This is episode 24. We pick it up from turn 149 in the harvest season of 212. So we pick things back up here uh, as we continue our war with Cao Cao and Yuan Shu uh, down next to the Yangtze River. Uh, it's a little bit awkward right now because we are not at war with Sun Tzu yet. Um, I kind of want it and I kind of don't want it at the same time. Uh, we're dominating them here because I think we have about seven or eight burn officers in this one county, which is just annihilating the enemy. Now, Xia Houyuan is staging an attack out of uh, Sun Tzu's land, which is a little annoying. Um, but I think we can take care of that just with the ambush around the toolmaker, which I think he will attack. A uh, 70% chance sounds about right for me. Gonna send him right here. We're gonna pick up the level up if I can click on the right generals. There we go. Uh, he is uh, currently our uh, in our court for his clerk position. In the future, he'll be pretty decent administrator with Burnt, so we're probably just gonna pick up these traits right here. Although, hmm. This might help us capture some generals, so maybe I'll go with this one for now. And then we'll go back to uh, the industry boosting one later. I feel like this can be a simple delegate. If they run, we'll chase them down. Right, we're trying to clean up Yuan Shu's forces. Alright, we're gonna just simply wipe them out. There's no, no need to show this. Alright, then the awkward news is where do we go from here? We could launch a naval invasion of Yuan Shu's forces in the south, but it would put us in a pretty awkward spot being surrounded on all four sides by Sun Tzu, who could declare war on us anytime. It'd be much better if we could force them to sign a peace deal with us. Uh, we'll see how we can get that to work. But first, we're going to send this army to chase them out. They're going to run. And we can actually fight them and force them to fight with us. They're both in that county now, so we're going to step them out. Because they already ran one, so this army can't run anymore, so they'll drag this army into battle with them. Now, we won't night battle this because we do want to drag the other army in. Vassal and the Master both go down. Now, we do ideally want to move this army with Guan Yu's army because they are designed to work together here. Hmm. I feel like I need to leave an army around this area just to keep this area safe. They can, however, follow them. They can take care of this army, and we should be good down here. Let's see who else leveled up. Looks like someone at court. Uh, just gonna pick up these uh, leadership and uh, administrative skills, assignment skills as well. Um, elsewhere, in the north, um, we're pretty safe. Uh, we have, at least temporarily, Koron joined the enemy, so he might actually declare war on us in the future. He's part of Sun Tzu's, um, he's, I think he's Sun Tzu's vassal. I believe that's the situation. Right, he's Sun Tzu's vassal. So Sun Tzu hates us. Um... I expect a war eventually. Koron still loves us. Hopefully he won't join the war, but the master might ask him to do so. Um, we have an option of wiping out Yuan Shu right now in the north. He has two territory here in Runan. But it's going to put us into a little bit of a neighboring situation with uh, Yuan Shao, who is starting to dislike us. And uh, we, we could just make a strong move down this way, clean out uh, Jiangxia as well. And then extend our defense all the way to maybe Runan here. And just remain flexible in this front. But we might be getting ourselves into too many wars. When what we should be focused on is just capturing the south. Because if we do capture all of this, we'll win the game. 
we have two vassals so we actually have um you know a win condition where we all their counties count towards our 95 win condition so we can easily uh hit that target uh Sun Tzu not being at war with us is a blessing and a curse right now too but i think he will eventually declare war on us um, i'm gonna move sima yi's army here just because that's the only position kind of exposed they'll heal up even without the mustering and then if war does break out with Koron, we'll be able to attack them first or at least defend and uh, same thing here this army will be able to launch their attack out against either Koron or uh, Yuan Shao's forces um, defending the north coast of the central plains yeah, I think we're, we're pretty happy with our army distribution and we just have some rebel farmers over here our economy is off the chains um, so not gonna complain about that Beihai is fine it's fully built as long as we get more reforms I'm probably not gonna upgrade it one more time we don't have the food at this point so we're gonna try to scale back our um, food cost right now Speaking of food costs, we could technically get rid of this building now. Hmm. I don't think we ever need more than these two armies in the north. But I guess we never know. Uh, Dong can make the jump to level 5 if we have a, a small regional city so everything can upgrade to level 5. If we have the food, so I just gotta check to see if there's anywhere else where we can... Uh, spend our food. If not, we'll definitely make the jump there. Alright, seems pretty good. Now uh, we're trying to get uh, Yangzhou built correctly. Uh, needs this, and I think that's pretty much the right build. Uh, we can upgrade to the silk. It doesn't help us. Uh, sixty, I guess sixty trade influence might help us. But what happens when you upgrade here is you lose entrepreneur. So this building doesn't include entrepreneur, but the main line does. So we really can't do it because the whole reason we have this building is to give us entrepreneur. Uh, we can get this reform and then upgrade to this version, but that's for later. All right. Seems like we don't have anywhere else that's really using food. So I think Dong can actually go ahead and take the upgrade. It'll cost only four food. Uh, we might feel a little bit of pressure in the winter season uh, because food production will go down with the seasonality. Uh, is there anything that boosts food production that we didn't take? Replenishment for garrisons, siege wall. Yeah, I think we used all the good ones. Yeah, we're gonna leave these open in case we need to do any shuffling. And in case we get any good characters who are mad at us for whatever reason, uh, they shouldn't be. We're pretty good at keeping people happy. And that's pretty much it. We're going to wait to see if Sa Yuan falls into the trap, and we're going to see when Sun Tzu actually declares war on us. So let's continue. Alrighty, we well, already signs a peace deal with Dong Min. That doesn't concern us. I guess we have to pick duty. No choice here. And let's see. We got energetic, friendly friendly. Liu Bei can still pick up new traits. That's interesting. Because I know you max out at 8. Oh, there's still two more slots. Okay. So we still got room to grow here. Uh, let's see. Three new characters. I'm kind of interested in new champions. Our roster is a little thin on them after we recruited a bunch out for uh, rebel farming. Uh, he seems decent enough. So, ooh, Stern's very good. Uh, the extra industry income. Could be a potential future administrator if we need one. Someone dies of old age. Uh, speaking of old age, he is going to die of old age, so we're just going to pass on him. Liang Xi, 23. Very young. Uh, not sure if he's a spy or not, but I'm pretty confident that we can accept spies because our satisfaction is off the chains for most people. Uh, but first, we're going to grab this guy. He's definitely useful. Uh, we can wait on him. He's been sitting in our court forever, so he can sit here a little bit too. Ooh, good weapon. We're going to take that. 
Yeah, sitting on 200k extra income definitely make getting weapons easy task to do. Uh, I don't know what to do with her. Well, since she is Pangtong's wife, maybe we go this route and get her at least flaming shot. We don't need you. We do need to check if any of the administrator could use such a weapon. Well, everyone's flexing with their better weapons. They might all have better weapons. I think we've been treating... Ah, oh, there we go. One guy who doesn't. So that makes that recruit pretty worthwhile. Get a little bit of discount. He's part of a ruling family. I wonder who he's... Uh, is he married? We can check. Uh, maybe not here. Maybe we need to look at him here. He's not married. He's a distant... Well, he's just part of a ruling family. That means you can use him technically as a marriage bait in a sense. But someone needs to have a daughter, basically. Oh, he's not going to talk to us. He's <laughs> yeah, we're clicking on people who are at war with us. Um, he's not at war with us, but he doesn't have any daughters available. Yeah, I guess it's not worthwhile. We don't really need to branch out and grab a character who's not, you know, legendary or anything noteworthy. There you go. Alright, let's see. We're good. Uh, they didn't fall for the trap. They did step closer. I don't know what their intentions are. I'm actually very tempted to send this main force, this three army group, over here. To just wipe out Yuan Shu. Maybe we just destroy his faction. Because they're strong enough that even if we get swarmed by uh, Sun Tzu's armies, they should be able to handle themselves. And then the two armies that we left here are probably strong enough to defend. We just lack an army to actually take them out over here. Hmm, maybe we're doing things in the wrong order. Maybe this group should actually go here and wipe them out first and also wipe out the vassal and then sail down. Hmm. Or we can let Yuan Shao do that because Yuan Shao is actually tearing through Yuan Shu's territory. Hmm. Let's go south. I think we need to eventually go south. So why not do it now? Um, do this. Go on march. Get us as close as we can. Uh, they, they could stay. They can take the fishing port without effort, and then we can just teleport them over. Hmm. Nah. We have one set of Baron officers. We should be okay here. I think Gunning will just hover here. Still inside the right county to give the burn buff from Pangtong to that army over there. We'll just lay an ambush to attract them to declare war on us if they don't see our units. Maybe it will work. Uh, this is the northern burned officer group. I think they're just fine. Everyone's just on guard duty in the north. Zhao Yun's having the time of his life with his wife. And, um... You know, we could do something, though. We could technically adopt Sun Ren instead of adopt Zhao Yun. Alright, if we adopt her, we're going to see their family tree. Which is kind of cool. Uh, we can make... Oh, we can't... Oh, right. We can't adopt them because Zhao Yun is actually a, a distant relative through some sort of marriage. I, I don't know how. Just the AI had him and we married someone who was related to that AI and now he's a distant relative. So we can't actually put him under our tree. 
That's a little bit uh, unfortunate, but fine. We won't live that dream out. Um, Beihai, Longya, Yangzhou. That's our Yubei Ping, Dong. Uh, I feel like Dong could actually get another buff. Yeah, one of these mixed income buffs. Wait, this one. And let's see. This is fine. Right, we want it all the way upgraded so we get level 5 buildings here. If we really need food, we can convert this commandery to food production. Because it does have a fishing port. But right now it's providing us corruption reduction, which is also very nice. But I guess it could still provide us this while producing us food. It just I'm kind of worried with the way we're spending food here. Because we're going to spend, what, six more food? We'll be down to four food going into winter. That's going to be a close call. We're going to need to start grabbing some food commanderies if we want to sustain this. Or for food reforms. That's what we really need. There's so many things I want to build here. Mm, I think we can demolish this and put in a state workshop. That reduces corruption, perhaps, because we need some help here. Um, and that's it. I think we deployed everyone and we got all the buildings happy. Yep. Time to move on to next turn. Hopefully, Xiaohuyan decides to jump this time. All right. Our coalition member uh, is asking us to join a war against the Yellow Turban Rebellion. Sure, I'm happy to do so. Especially since they're willing to pay us. Um, I'm wondering. Maybe we can financially get a deal out of this. Where we take this livestock farm right here. From them. That can help with our food and income. Wow, they value it quite a bit. Never mind. We'll just take income. But we'll take per turn income. We can make it work. Uh, 88. 80. There we go. What? The yellow turbans are going to give us untrustworthy as we help our coalition out? Fine, be that way. I mean, we're kind of breaking a deal because we did get a peace treaty. But the old turbans are just so far away from us, it's fine. Alrighty, uh, join a war. Stayed on brand as our trust untrustworthy a little bit. Alright, getting creative. Uh, Cao Cao has two armies in the water too. Cao Cao is leading another assault. And uh, he has a friend with him. Maybe Xiao Yan is waiting for them. But they're not moving. Um, we're not going to wait for them. We're going to... Launch our assault here. They're gonna just be standing in the commandery, which is fine. Actually, we should switch to regular stance. Um, I don't think I need them to reinforce. And then. We're going to get Guan Yu into assault position ahead of the city. Like so, so they can march forward next turn. And they're going to do the honor of actually launching the attack. We're going to delegate this. Somehow I think we're going to take a lot of damage, but so be it. 17. Pleasantly surprised. Ooh, savior of the nation. So this is a Zhao Yun save the kid event. Okay, just uh, trigger some extra experience, not story related. Zhao Yun's all the way in the north, busy with his wife. Alright, their job is to continue on. There's no rear to this, yeah, they just have to go here. 
and somehow get through Sun Tzu's territory. Yeah, just kind of annoying the current situation with Cao Cao's army and Yuan Shu's army and uh, Sun Tzu not declare. I mean, if he declares war on us, I guess we will get very busy. Uh, but right now, as we expand, we're just exposing our fronts more and more. So here we want this. You know what? We are rich for a reason. There. Corruption reduction complete. 15%. And then we're going to give ourselves some food boost. And we're still going to have over... 200k income after this. Alright, public water is going to go down the drain here, and that's part of the plan. Uh, we're just going to build this and we're going to stop. It comes with a good economy. Um, I believe we're missing a Yobei Ping commerce boost. And then we're going to summon three generals here to take care of the city. We're gonna summon our new guy, who we recruited just for this purpose. And I guess we'll pick people who he get along with. Mm, it's a little expensive. Mm, not sure if I want our administrators out. I don't really care that much about relationship. And when our sons all come of age, we're going to have more characters to play around with. Yeah, it's fine. He doesn't have reach, but he doesn't really need it. Um, Let's see. Are we done with our buildings? Alright, I'm gonna rush the food and slowly build up the tea. That's fine. That's fine. We'll let that wait. Yeah, I think we're doing pretty well. Let's continue on to the copper mine. Um, I think that's all we really need to do. We're pretty safe everywhere else. I don't notice any plant attack against us. I guess it's better if they get into the poorest pasture for now. Alright, we're good to go. Let's continue over here so I can take a peek at the enemy movement here. Alright, Dong Min has died and Dong Li has taken over. Okay. Ooh, not us. Good. See, but I'm afraid one of those uh, joint wars is going to happen against us. So hold on, ancient text event. I do want to know, like, what trait does he have that might trigger ancient text event? Scholarly, perhaps? Because I know these random events are triggered based on trait. All right, and we're having a development over here as uh, Yuan Shu's army are pouring out of Runan into our territory. And uh, Xia Hou Yuan actually took the bait in the city instead and sieged here, which we can break with this army. Um, the other news is that Cao Cao's army in the river has landed in Sun Tzu's territory here and has taken the land route for the rest of the trip. Uh, definitely making full advantage of Sun Tzu's land here. Okay. Uh, not so great. Not too bad, but not that great. Uh, we might just hire him because he's a champion. And another old man. Um, let's see, if the items don't matter, we'll just hire him. Yep. We need generals. We might really need to start expanding our army count and just start pushing out against the enemy everywhere. Because I feel like we're slowly getting overwhelmed. All right, they're going to come over here. They're going to break the siege. And chase them down if we can. Perfect. 
All right, Ma Chao versus Xia Ho Yuan. Not so shabby. Uh, five shots on these. I don't need. Uh, I don't have night battle, so I can't really command whether we need them or not. All right, we're gonna jump in here and take this fight. Alrighty. Uh, we're loaded up in here. Pretty foresty terrain. Where is our siege weapon? I don't see it. Maybe it's behind the tree here. That's the only thing I'm concerned about. They're probably the only thing that can do damage to us. Um, hmm. Not a fan why the forest has to be where we are fighting at. Like, they're going to walk through the forest to reach us. Probably better if we set up behind. Make it difficult for their siege weapon to get to us. We can actually even face this way and run back a little bit more. Uh, we could hide these guys, though. They can remain hidden for a sneak attack from the forest. Um, not going to go where the cavalry is likely to go. Probably hide them here. Now, this mission could end in disaster if they get found. Maybe we'll condense them. All right. That's probably best. Uh, Machal can actually look for some fights from behind. Uh, we can start him out. Gorilla deployed um, behind enemy lines in a forest. And he can go hunt down that siege weapon as they slowly move up towards us. And we're just going to move towards our reinforcement units with the rest of the men. And buy us some time as the cavalry do some scouting work. And we're going to leave these guys behind to do some damage as well. So we're going to put the tower here, kind of out of sight, so they won't take it over. And we'll hide some uh, stakes in the forest and put a fire here. All right, let's start this thing. Let's go back. What we really want to do is probably put them... Oh, we want these together. Here. These guys right in front. These guys in front of that. We can go really wide. We have a lot of spearmen from the city right news who's going to show up as well. Plenty of generals. Yeah, so have excellent. We can hide these guys in the open. And this guy who's not shielded can hide on the flank. We even have a sword unit, some more archers to join the fun. Alright, they are moving towards us. That seed weapon is exposed. So we're going to have to sneak Macho over there without being seen. Let's go carefully this way first. Stay in the tree line. We are going to get exposed once we pop out. But if we pop out quick enough, they might not react to it. Alright. Operation Sneaking Macho. Alright, let's go here quickly. Ah, uh, they see us. But are they going to react to it? Uh, doesn't seem likely. That's good. And this unit's pretty well hidden. We can pretty much get a good flank on it. I think I put the stakes a little bit too far out. Um... I guess their right, our left. If we put it here, we probably could have killed some cavalry as they ran by. But look at that one slow unit. All right, we're not going to click it. The second you click it, they react. We're going to run next to it, and they're not going to know. And by the time they're in the forest, they're going to be dead. Let's go, Macho. All no, hit into a tree. Come on. We'll take a straight path. Poor guys, don't even know what's coming. Oh, they know what's coming. Look at that. Are they gonna shoot a macho? A little too late, boys. A little too late. Where's your friends now? We didn't kill anyone. No, decline. We're killing this thing first. We'll demoralize you guys. Oh. Yeah, the horse does more damage than the, than the weapon. That sky piercer wasted. 
Look at that. No no one killed with the sky piercer. But the horse hoof killed at least three guys. Alright, they're coming over. Um, the trebuchets are not in position, but that's doing wonders for us. Alright, we're fine. Uh, don't have to worry about that situation. Just gonna turn off dueling for everyone. Why can't we do that? Oh, there we go. And these guys will just patiently wait till they engage, and then we'll and then we'll go wipe out the enemy uh, range units. Finish them. Oh, actually, we can go back and duel Xiao Yuan. All right, new plan. You'll go duel Xiao Yuan. We'll send one guy to waste on this guy. Why is this not shooting? Oh, they're, oh, they're not even in position yet. Alright, Machal needs to pull a duel out quickly. Yeah, we're well protect protected here. And I'm even going to pull this guy back to defend the absolute rear. Because they like to do that rear charge. My child's gonna be exhausted though. It ran so far. Yeah, we don't have that many range units. We're gonna have to depend on our cavalry. Alright, time to chum out. Stay on them, stay on them. I will charge here. But we're trying to get a duel. Do we have. There we go. We don't have Wisdom the River, we don't have any boost, so he's going to be on his us. He's going to be on by himself. Alright, charge. Charge. Yeah, I don't know why I'm, select why I'm selecting everyone, but I'm just making sure I got all the targets. Alright, you hover around him. Oh, we're winning. Xiao Huyan, I thought you were stronger. You're stronger than this, right? No? I guess Machal got a lot stronger. It's level 7 now, I guess. Sky Piercer. No joke. Uh, how's our cavalry doing? Alright, they engaged. Alright, they all have a good defined target. Ooh, we got trucked. Somehow he hurt us by a lot. Can we finish him? Been at one health for a long time. There we go. In the face. All right. Don't need you guys. Your job is to swarm him, who's mad. Yeah, we have enough front line to not worry about the situation here. Uh, not healthy enough. Not healthy enough. Charge. Stay on him. Route those people who are trying to run away. Uh, these are cavalries getting away. We can't really stop them. We can try to stop other people. Alright, join the fun. Try to charge us. Please, please do. What are you guys doing? Can we charge? Oh, they're already fighting. Just not fighting well, I guess. Strad just gonna sit back. Oh, they're engaged. They're engaged. Stay engaged. Kill him. You're better suited for that. Chase them down. Alright, go help. Go help. Trying to make sure none of the fleet. Actually, one unit is not worth chasing. Chase them. Crash into them. Uh, the cavalry might need a little help, but I think we got it. Alright, we won, but we're gonna chase for a little bit. I don't really want them to stay on the map. Alrighty. Let's see if we capture him. We'll take replenishment. There's more fighting ahead. And we don't need cash. 
We didn't capture him. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we're going to continue to move. I think we're going to lose this farmland. Can't do much about it. Um, just have to get it back. Oh. And I feel like what we should do is actually give this army a strategist and actually make it an army. And they can defend this area here and also take care of rebels at the same time. And I don't know if I can leave here. Just because I don't know if they're going to turn on us or not. And they have three armies here, which is super nervous. Even for this one army, we need to like ambush, pick off one, and somehow turn that around. Alright, we're not going to worry too much about that though. As we are going to continue... Over here, we could march our way in there. No problem. There's, yep, there's no one defending it. Guan Yu should be able to reach it. Yep, we're probably just going to delegate this fight. Although, we could wait for reinforcement just to make it easier. Uh, we'll be right back. We'll draw these guys over as well. We definitely overkilled in the south. We didn't need both of them to come. Just a little worry about Sun Tzu making a move against us. Oh, uh, we're just gonna delegate this. There we go. Now, what level is this copper mine? Because we will like a level five minus four percent corruption for every commandery. That'd be perfect here. Alright, so, we can't walk through his territory because we don't have military access. We could get it, we could get it, but it'd be very hard to deal with him since we're untrustworthy. We can't actually walk into this territory without going into Sun Tzu's territory. Maybe we can trade for it. What if we give Sun Tzu the farmland and take his weapon craftsman? Right, we're going to lose it anyways, but then Yuan Shu is not going to take it. So eventually we'll have to take it back by fourth, uh, force, and then we'll lose eight food. Ooh, that hurts. That just hurts. But then we get the small city back, which isn't really worth any food. That's the problem. Or we can negotiate peace, maybe. Maybe after losing some territories. 15.2. You know, we can negotiate one out here. Make him pull his army back. Right, if we, if we work out a peace deal with him, then we'll also work out a peace deal with them. Like, we're not scared of them, it's just that their army is about to take our food supply, and that's just an awkward situation. And we can't reach these two commanderies, and we got a copper mine out of it. If we can get a trade deal out of it, we can definitely pay him for this deal. Maybe... Alright, see, that's positive as well. He has a lot of food. How does he have a lot of food? He has an iron mine, a trade port, and a lumber yard. What is he building his commanderies? Um, Alright, we can make him like a giant pavement that he can't refuse. Right, this is less than one turn of our income, so it's 
not gonna hurt us at all. Wow. He's, uh... Somewhere in between here. Where is the magic number here? 333? Okay, fine. We can pay him for peace and a trade route worth a bunch of gold to us too. And then he won't attack our farmland. We'll lose a bunch of enemies and we gain some territory and we can regroup our forces. Hmm, not a bad deal. Let's see who hates us for this. Yuan Shao would turn to negative with us. Zhang Yan will go close to negative. Kong Rong. Hmm, it seems like most people are happy with us because we're at war with Yuan Shu. This, this is what this is telling me. We're going to take away the non-aggression pack. Actually, no. Because we're trading with them, we're basically not going to attack them. We're going to wait till they backstab us. This might be a mistake. Um, but all of a sudden, uh, we're at peace with pretty much everyone close to us. This is not the classical Chinese diplomatic strategy uh, where you have like warring kingdoms. The classical strategy is you make peace with everyone far away from us, which we kind of did, and then you go to war with everyone close to you. Um, but we seem to be stuck in the opposite approach just because Cao Cao is very stubborn. All right, let's figure out what to do here. We could pull our armies away from these two counties. And when they want to attack us, we'll just lose it and then we'll retake it later. I feel like we need to take the opportunity to actually clean up the north coast, uh, north coast of the Yangtze River. Or make a move against Hmm. It's tough either way. We need to get this army uh, back to the other side first. Uh, and before we do that, they're fine. It's nice to have another defensive army. They're safe. Yeah, we'll just let the AI decide for us. I'm sure someone will declare war on us very soon. Not many people still like us after that peace deal. All right, our wonderful daughter being groomed into a future leadership role. We're gonna start you up right here. And you, what are you good for? Uh, you could be good for a lot of things. I guess we'll work your way into a battlefield role. Finally get a reform. This is what drives our economy here. Um, we could take this to get eventually here and here for more food production. Or we can go for level 5 in building, which is great for certain commanderies. We only have two of these, I believe, that could benefit. Level 5 private workshop, also same idea. Level 5 mines. Level f well, these are good. Level 4 palaces. They're good for corruption reducing and good for our peasantry income. So maybe this is the one we should actually go for. And eventually we want to go here, which is really good. But the palace is all the way up here. Oh, we're only actually two reforms away. Huh. We should also get these Imperial Crossbow units. That's also two reforms away. But this one's kind of a waste of reform for us. Hmm. I think let's go for Imperial Crossbow units. They're going to really strengthen our army. Let's go. Alright. Uh, check those out. We got peace deal done. Did we get the buildings through? 
since we picked a reform that has not really any impact on buildings i don't think we're going to see too much change we are going to build a market wharf here uh i think we are just going to rush it even though we spend a huge chunk of our cash we still have tons of cash We don't have spice, so we're going this way. And then we're actually going to upgrade it one more time. Can we afford the food? Eight food? We're really pushing it, aren't we? Maybe this should be a food commandery after all. All right, we're going to we're going to change this to a food commandery just to support our cause and don't um two turns. Yeah, that's good enough. We have an extra um, entrepreneur slot, but this doesn't actually increase our income by that much. 20% trade influence? Uh, all right, I'll take it. It's convinced me. All right, we're good to go. Um, let's see which AI will declare war on us first. Let's continue. All right, we caught a spy. So this is... Uh, bound to happen he is one of our generals on the field huh we couldn't keep you happy enough I guess that's why we captured him he's spying for uh, Ben John's old faction we can't employ him which is awkward I would really like to know what army he's in though but we really can't find out here. I would like to just execute him and replace him with a general. Because I don't want to release him with the items. I don't want to release him as a counter spy. There we go. And then we can pick a general. Like. Him who we were considering last turn. To just take over. Mm. He's 16. He has no past loyalties. He's definitely not a spy. Where did you come from? Did you just come of age? We'll take him. So he tried to empower trade and got killed. All right, let's take a peek. Which army were he? Ah, uh, he's in this new army with Samayi. Okay, we kind of just added him in. All right, that's fine. We'll let him have the item that other guy had. They don't get along, but not a big deal in this army. But where do we... He just appeared in the pool this turn? Did he come of age? Do you have any relationships? Family. Oh. What? What? He's family with her? Wait, what? Our wife. Tell us all what have you done? Okay, I don't see on her tree. Uh, hold on. Uh, let's do by. This is important. Cao Jie. Right. Why is he family with our wife? Wait, is that our wife? Liu. Wait, hold on. Liu An Yan. That is our wife. Are you a nephew? He came of age, but he wasn't in our faction, 
Right? That's why we had to spend a thousand gold to get him. So we don't know where he grew up. But this kid just popped in as a member of our family. Because he's family with our wife. That's a bug. And his surname is Cao. Which makes me a little unhappy and gives me a little bit of rationale to why Cao Cao has been declaring war on us this whole time. Alright, Rebellion, we have an army. Right, we're fine. Alright, we're switching this to food production. Getting rid of this. Alright, we're just gonna rush this to change it to food production ready. Um, we don't need this building either. And then we can actually downgrade to save even more food. There we go. Now we have 29 food. And this upgrade doesn't hurt us as much. Alright. Yeah, we're not gonna think too much about the kid situation. I guess it's fine if we give the Cao Cao kid over or I don't know I don't know if it's Cao Cao's kid, but he just this guy. We'll let Samayi handle him. Oh man. What a mess. We thought our son was a disaster. Um Anyways, uh, let's actually think about how to fight the war. Cao Cao is just slipping through this territory, making us unable to really evacuate the south without worrying that they might take it. We could just backstab them right now. But I wouldn't say we have the absolute advantage either. We're talking about a lot of force here around Jianye. And even if we do start a war with Wu, the best option would be to take out Lu Jiang first. And then start launching attacks down south. We can even lose both of these commanders, it'll be okay. Alright, something else slightly interesting. You see this patch of red right here? That's all Yellow Turban Rebellion. They took down Zhang Ke. And look at how many armies here. One, two, three, four. Right here, five. Kind of scary. And they still have Badong, where they have one, two, three, four, five. So, yeah. I mean, it's easy to, to kill. You just need, like, one good army with night battle with artilleries you just wipe them out one by one not really hard but still kind of impressive how the old turban turned it around they have Pei Wen Shao they also have Zhang Liang Zhang Liang survived Zhang Liang somewhere over here so we can't really reach Cao Cao's land unless we take the naval route here but that's a big commitment of manpower as well but I would imagine his territory is very easily destroyed. It just makes more sense for us if we start taking these territories right here. If we get rid of this chunk, we'll be much better off. Alright, let's set up for that. We can backstab Yuan Shu. We're pretty much used to untrustworthy at this point. We can launch a coordinated attack against Yuan Shu first and his vassal with Ma Chao's army. We'll set up Ganning's army here to hold back Cao Cao's army along with this group. They will hover around here for a little bit. Maybe we can even bait them into landing on this side. So we can kind of like hide here on the beach and be like, come hit us. And then ambush them with our May army. Alright, 
Let's see if Tal falls for this. Alright, I think we did all the building. Yeah, let's take one more turn. Alright, uh, we're back. Alright, these don't concern us. Um, some new characters, new traits. Uh, we'll come back and look at all these things. I think our other kid is coming of age very soon. He's 16. He's come within the next four turns, I guess. He'll pop of age. Our grandkids are coming soon, too. Um, hopefully, he turns out pretty good. He'll be the only competitor to Zhuge Liang in that sense for air. And um, as for everything else, I think we're going to end our episode here. They're just taking care of rebels. We still don't have a clear direction of how to finish this game. But I'm sure I'll figure something out. Um, we gain a little territory. Cao Cao is still just being super annoying. And yellow turbans are coming too, which could be another problem. But maybe we'll backstab both Yuan Shu, Sun Ce, and uh, start the war with everyone down south and in the north at the same time. Might be the fastest way to do it, but I don't think it's the smartest way to do it. But let's see how things go. So see you all next time. Bye!